Hello and welcome to another uh, five minute video from Paper Classroom. Today we're going to talk about the theoretical aspects of drying, the four phases of drying. And this really applies to uh, typical two tier drying cylinder systems. So this is the system that we're going to consider. We've got two drying cylinders at the top there, one drying cylinder at the bottom. The sheet comes down here, around and up there, and in one portion it's held in contact with the drying cylinder by the fabric. So we're going to look at each of these four areas in turn just to explore what's going on. So phase one, this is here. This is where the sheet is just approaching the drying cylinder. It hasn't come into contact with it yet, but radiant heat from the drying cylinder is warming it up. That's warming the water. The water's converting to steam. And as the steam expands, it will try and push itself away from the drying cylinder. That will happen at the beginning of the cycle. Once that's happened, then this area will actually be full of very moist air. And the moist air, the moisture, it'll be 100% humidity. It will inhibit any further evaporation from the sheet. And so the sheet and its water content will just get warmer. So this is what's going on. The cold sheet is approaching a hot surface. Any vapour produced will push the sheet away from that surface. And saturated air will prevent evaporation. And therefore the sheet itself will simply heat up. Nothing else will happen except a gentle heating of the sheet. If we move along to phase two now, this is the largest area. This is where the sheet is being held in close contact with the drying cylinder by the dry fabric. So the only thing that's going to really happen there is the sheet is going to get heated. In very closed dry fabrics, you'll get uh, some inhibition of uh, evaporation. Uh, if you've got an open dry fabric, you'll get some evaporation, but, but not a lot really. Um, so the fabric will restrict evaporation in most cases. <clears throat> but what's really happening is this big temperature increase. Okay, if we move on to phase three now, this is the, to me, this is the most interesting phase. Here, the dry fabric is separating from the cylinder. The sheet is separating from the cylinder. Now, two things are happening to the sheet here. It's experiencing some radiant heat from here. So therefore the sheet will be warming up. But because it's really hot and it's just released, you'll get a lot of evaporation at that point. And when you get evaporation, the energy is taken from the sheet and therefore the sheet will cool. So in this area, you've got two things going on. You've got simultaneous heating and cooling of the sheet. Heating, radiant heat from here, cooling because of evaporation. So just to sort of summarize that, the sheet leaves the surface, the radiant heat from the cylinder will warm it up. At the same time, evaporation from the sheet will cool the sheet down. And the net effect is the sheet will slightly cool. Now we move on to the last phase, phase four. This is where, this is what we normally refer to as an open draw. So this is where the sheet has left phase three of one cylinder and it's approaching phase one of the next cylinder. So in this area here, this is where all the, or virtually all the evaporation will occur. So when the evaporation occurs, then again, because it takes the heat from the, uh, from the system, from the sheet, the sheet will substantially cool down. So the sheet is hotter than the surrounding air. You've got maximum evaporation at that point. And because you've got evaporation, the sheet will cool substantially. So a quick summary of this video for the four phases. Number one, phase one, the sheet starts to heat up. Phase two, that's where you get the majority of the heating of the sheet. Phase three, you've got simultaneous heating and cooling of the sheet and some evaporation. And phase four, 
That's where the sheet cools down most and you also get the maximum amount of evaporation. Okay, well, uh, thank you for listening to this video and uh, please feel free to follow us on uh, any of this social media. Thank you.